morning class family. Happy Friday. Let's go ahead and look at our message. Are you ready? Show me that you are a team and a class family. Follow along with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Ready? March 12th, 2021. Dear class family, today is Friday. It is a great day to learn at school. First, we will review letters and sounds. Then we will say words slowly. Next, we will write down the sounds that we hear. Last, we will share work and go to PE class. Love, Miss Joyner. Oh, we have some wonderful things to do on this special Friday. Let's look back at the message, but this time, when we talk about what we're going to be working on, I want us to search for something. Can you help me? All right, we're going to look for punctuation marks. Do you remember punctuation marks? Hmm, which ones can you think of? Do you remember what this is called? This is a period. Can you show it in the air? Just make a dot, dot, do it again, dot. Great job. We're going to be looking for periods and circling them. We're also going to be looking for commas. So we're going to look for commas. And I see there are many commas in our message. We're going to look for these too. And if there are any exclamation points, we're going to be circling them too. Make it with me. Straight line down, dot. Do it again. Straight line down, dot. Nice job. Let's look back at the message and circle them. Are you ready? Okay. So, March 12, 2021. Did you notice the comma? I did too. Dear class family, what's after the greeting? You're right. It is is a comma. Great job. Let's go ahead and continue the message. Today is Friday. What is at the end of this telling sentence? You're right. It's called a period. Make it dot. Do it again. Dot. Great job. It is a great day to learn at school. Oh, it is. Did you see at the end of this exciting sentence? What is the name of that punctuation mark? Do you remember? It can be called an exclamation point or an exclamation mark. Great job. All right, class family, let's continue to search for punctuation marks. I'm really proud of all the ones that we found so far. Let's go ahead with the sequencing word first. First, we will review letters and sounds Oh, we will review letters and sounds. It's going to be so much fun. I have some special songs that I'm going to be sharing with you, and we're going to pump our brains with knowledge and practice the letters and sounds. Let's circle the comma after first. And did you see the period at the end? I did too. Kiss your brain. Nice job. Then we will say words slowly. Oh, we will say words slowly. That's what good writers do. They say words slowly to listen carefully and hear the sounds so they can write the letters down of the sounds that they hear. After then, I see the comma and I noticed a period at the end. Next, we will write down the sounds that we hear. Oh, we will. Let's we'll circle that comma and the period. We'll practice together as a class family, writing down the sounds on our whiteboards and using our dry erase marker. Then you're going to be looking back at your story that you were working on yesterday so that you can write words and listen carefully to sound out the words that you're saying in your story. You're going to be listening for the beginning, middle, and ending sound before you write, okay? So let's go ahead and get the comma after last. Oops, we didn't go ahead. 
Um, and check this out. Last we will share work and go to PE class. We will. So we'll be sharing our work. And if you have permission, you can put your video camera on, your microphone button on. We will have PE class. Let's circle that period at the end. So you'll need space because Mr. W is coming to room 23 and so is Mr. Mellinger. And we're going to have PE time. So you need to make sure you have room for PE time. Oh, I forgot down here. Love, Miss Joyner. Did you notice the comma after my closing and the period in my name? All right. Thank you so much for helping me find the punctuation marks. You can be a great communicator all day long. Long remember to speak clearly so that everyone can understand you.